All right, so this video is about how to score for your history essay. And we are looking at chapter seven. All right, we are looking. So again, um, I cannot further um, insist, right? Because this is really important that you know the key knowledge, you know what's the learning outcome, you know what are the key concepts. We are looking at the breakdown of wartime alliance. Okay, we are just focusing specifically how we unpack. So the first thing that we do is always what is the historical concept. And we are talking about mistrust. We are talking about Cold War. All right, so the key concept here, it is Cold War. And mistrust is, as, uh, is attributed to the bipolarity. That means there's this differences between um, specifically USA and Soviet Union okay and we are looking at superpower rivalry that is why there is this mistrust and we are looking at given factor so what is the given factor the breakdown of wartime alliance and we are looking at keywords okay if you agree that breakdown of wartime alliance was um, I would say the main reason for mistrust you agree why you disagree why can you say both can you say that it is actually the break um, you agree as well as you disagree all right so uh, the key word here is when you unpack any essay thing of concept what is the key concept what is the given factor what is the keyword okay concept given factor keyword Right, as I was telling um, in class yesterday, okay, imagine you writing both paragraph one and paragraph two where you agree, okay, then you give one example under the breakdown of wartime alliance. It could be the differences between Yalta and Potsdam. Actually, it's only just one specific one uh, that you can find in the notes. And in paragraph two, you disagree because it is ideological conflict, and then you give Example one, right? Communist versus democracy in uh, economy, communist versus democracy in politics. Already, of course, you need to link it and you already get a level three, six, All right? You already get a level three, six. Six marks is for explanation of given factor, which is the breakdown of wartime alliance and other reasons, which is ideology. Now, where do you get your plus two marks? Is if after that you try to attempt a conclusion. In writing a conclusion, three main points. We are looking for criteria. We look at importance of the point and we look at the broader historical context. You can read this on your own. Now, if this is the question, you need to write the conclusion, you need to weigh. Okay, what is your criteria for comparing? Is the breakdown of wartime alliance more important than ideology? Uh, what is the relative importance? Is ideology a greater impact? Because we are talking about ideology being fundamental. Um, what do you think was the most important reason for Cold War? Was it a uh, breakdown of wartime alliance? Uh, was it other reasons? So the broader historical context or the, or I would say the concept is the one that you address. So always remember, look at criteria, relative importance and most important reason. So the head code here, okay, you can see sample one, um, is actually about evaluating one of the factors. So if you read very carefully, I am comparing the breakdown of wartime alliance versus other reasons, which is ideology. And I do want you to look at how it's being written. These are just questions to frame you and guide you in answering this part because again we are talking about evaluating look at this okay uh, the enduring atmosphere of mistrust which along with specific events worsened the already um, tense relationship 
right? So my favorite one is definitely the buffet, okay? And when you look and when you read the buffet specifically, uh, it is about saying that it's not just because of one reason, but it's the attribution of many reasons, the breakdown of wartime alliance uh, and the combination of ideological differences, okay? And um, it's too complicated to just contribute, be to use just one factor uh, to explain the reasons for Cold War.